Want to make your Linux Mint panel truly yours? Here's a quick guide to customizing it. To customize your panel in Linux Mint, by default, it's the bar at the bottom of the screen where you see the menu, open windows, and the system tray with the clock and volume controls. To customize it, right click on an empty space on the panel. If there is no empty space, you can also right click on the menu icon or the clock. Select Panel Settings. This opens the configuration window. Want the panel to be larger or smaller? Use the height slider to adjust its size. This is helpful if you want bigger icons or need more screen space. So 40 would be right in the middle. You can make it larger or smaller. You can make the panel auto height when not in use. Enable this by selecting the auto height panel option so it stays out of the way until you hover over it. I like to keep mine always on. For the panel appearance, you can adjust separately the left zone, center, and right zone, such as font size, color icon size, symbolic icon size, so it gives you quite a bit of customization options. Now let's add and remove applets. Right click the panel again and select applets. Applets are small tools or widgets like the clock, menu, or the workspace switcher. The applets manager lets you manage what appears on your panel. So there are quite a few different applets you can choose from. If you want to add something new, click on the download tab to browse and install additional applets. For example, you can add a weather applet or a system monitor. After the applet has been downloaded, go to the Manage tab, find the downloaded widget, usually it's on the top, highlight it and press plus to edit. There we go, the applet is added at the bottom here. As you can see, we got the weather, so 9 degrees Celsius and cloudy, very handy. We can add CPU temperature indicator. Same way, just press download, then go to the Manage tab, highlight it, and press plus to edit. To remove an applet, select it and click remove. To move any applet that you have added, just right click on the panel, activate the panel edit mode, and then if you wanna move it around, just hold Alt and drag the applet to the desired position. Similarly, you can do with other icons as well. It is very customizable, you can do it the way you like it. Then after that, don't forget to disable the edit mode. By default, the panel is at the bottom of the screen, but you can move it to the top or sides. For that, just right click on the panel and then choose move and select the new position of the panel. So if you like it to be on the left side, just click and it's gonna be located on the left side. Similarly, you can move it to the right side or to the top. Myself, I prefer to use it on the bottom. You can also add a new panel, for example, on the top. Now you're gonna have two panels, one on the bottom, one on the top. If you wanna have more space for the bookmarks or additional applets, similarly, just right click and choose remove to remove it. Finally, let's change the look of the panel. Go to the menu, open system settings and click on themes. This lets you apply a different theme to your panel and desktop. You can select different appearance, mix, dark or light, the color of the folders. Then if you go to the advanced settings, here you can customize icons, choose different colors, different look, then change the applications look. There are lots of different kinds, different appearance for the desktop, for the main menu and for the folders, icons and the panel. Switch to a theme you like and your panel will update automatically. This is a quick way to give your desktop a fresh look. You can also download additional themes if you like. Just click on this tab, add and remove. There are many different kinds that you can choose from. You can even customize it to look as Windows 10. There is a Windows 10 dark theme as well, or even Mint XP. If you wanna go back in time and try Windows XP on Mint, just download this theme. It will turn your Linux Mint into Windows XP. So there's lots of different customizable themes. Definitely can find the one that you like. Make Linux Mint work the way you want it. Like and subscribe for more helpful Linux Mint tips. But this is it for today. Hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.